What's up, Epic Gamers? Welcome back to The Domain. Uh, this is uh, gonna be actually a really enjoyable video for me. Uh, you know uh, my channel, I love ODSTs. And in front of me, you don't get more nostalgic than this, the original five ODST drop pods in all of their divine glory. Like, we've even got Avery, man. Like, Avery's the mascot of this YouTube channel, essentially, him and Billy the Grunt. Like, it's so great to have them uh, all together, all together at once. Uh, no, today's video, we're having a look. We're dropping in to the new drop pods. Now, if you didn't know, these were announced last week, and oh my goodness. I keep on, like, I don't know. I keep on, like, just pinching myself. Uh, every, anytime I see these images, I'm like, oh, wow, that's really happening, like, not only is it, you know, four named characters, four named ODSTs from Alpha 9 with drop pods at a very affordable price, it's also the reintroduction of some iconic ODSTs that we've only seen once, maybe twice. So it's great to see them come back. And in today's video, I'm gonna analyze as best I can the four ODSTs, the new drop pods, and all of the previous iterations that these uh, ODSTs have appeared in, because they've been in a lot. And I also wanna say, this is another one of my rambling videos. Uh, I got some good feedback yesterday saying you guys enjoyed it, and I'm still experimenting with the style, like I'm sorting out my camera better, uh, I got some nice like little equalizers and music and transitions and a new intro and I'm just trying to, you know, feel some things out. And also, uh, I'm leaving America in 12 days. I'm packing my bags. Uh, currently just got a shelf full of mega constructs, a couple of shelves full of jazzware. Pretty much the only stuff I've got left, the rest is in suitcases. So uh, I'm almost done. So basically, I just need easy videos to, to do that don't require so much editing, and this is a great uh, feature that I wanted to experiment with, so I hope you enjoy today. So yes, we got four drop pods, and they feature the Rookie, Romeo, Dutch, and Mickey. And some of these figures, gosh, they're so expensive on the uh, on the aftermarket uh, as, as collectibles. And these will be expensive in the future, you know, like um, scalping never... Well, okay. I should start by saying there's a big difference between scalping and from uh, merchandise uh, pricing, like the, the gradual increase of a price of a product because it becomes a collectible, because, you know, scarcity and demand. Scalping is a bad thing. If, uh, you know, if you buy a 20th character pack, then you immediately sell it for twice the price. That's not a good thing you just did. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not a great, not a great, uh, look. So, um, scalping is different, though, to, like, uh, merchandise material value. Like, these figures on the aftermarket are worth so much right now. Average, like, 50 to $60, some upwards of 100 Mickey, I mean, actually, Mickey's now less in price because of the 20th character pack, but before that, Mickey only came in the NMPD Pelican, so he was so expensive. So, uh, you know, I'm not against that. I've sold things on the aftermarket that are, like, 10 years old for three times retail value. That's okay. It's all about supply and demand, and things do become uh, collectibles after a while. I do also want to point out, this is one of my favorite thumbnails I've ever made. It's so much fun. And if you see the video, it's about, like, five videos back where we revealed this thing or helped to reveal it. I mean, it had already been published on megaconstructs.com, but we uh, made a video promoting it, and uh, it was really fun because I was in the car on a 10-hour road trip down to meet Impact Props living with Chief, and I was editing on my lap, and anyway, it was just a, I was very happy to be able to get a good quality video out, even with that crunch, and it was also dope to, uh, you know, talk about these ODSTs and uh, make this thumbnail, like, I really enjoyed making this thumbnail, I really did. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna break down, first of all, a little history lesson for you. These are the first ever drop pods that Mega came out with, and it's kind of crazy looking back that they were actually the first ones because they're so good. And, you know, people can go back and forth uh, saying which are the best ones. Um, I know that nostalgia is a big influence because there are really good drop pods in uh, the new generation, but they don't quite hit the same note for me as uh, as the OGs. Like, these are cool and all, but they're, they're, they're just not, like... Look at that, look at that flame decal, man. That's hand-painted. Like, look at that mud splatter. Like, Mega Bloks figures used to be hand-painted, a lot of them. Like, ah, wild. That snowy effect, too. Yeah, you, Mega Constructs nowadays is phenomenal. I absolutely love the brand, but you don't get things like this, right? Like, 
This is something special, and uh, I, I, I always, I will always love these. This ODST with the sniper, like people always ask me, oh Simon, what was your first set? What was your first set? What was your first figure? Now my first uh, figure was an active camo Spartan from series one blind bags. My first set was the Mongoose, the original Mongoose, but my first set that I was truly blown away by the quality of Mega was this drop pod. And I remember I, I say, you know, I kept on having to save up for these things. And the first time I got this one and I got two Magnums and then this painted rocket launcher, this painted uh, Spartan laser. And then obviously when it came to this one and I got this white ODST, I put a cloak on it uh, from the Thor Mega Bloks figure. And then I called it Avery and painted a Union Jack on it. And the rest is history. It was the mascot of my channel and is still the mascot logo on our Discord. So these things are really cool. I also even love the square base plates. And yes, the, the doors slide open. This pops off. All four of these can open up for like parachuting, you know? They're just, they're phenomenal. They were absolutely incredible. Also, the McFa Oh, look at that. I've not seen a picture of this yet. The McFarlane drop pod versus the Jazzware drop pod. I just picked up the Jazzware drop pod and I have this back in England. So I will be looking forward to comparing those two. Maybe I'll make a video on it. So... We had those original drop pods, um, and there were a lot of different iterations. Uh, they they in introduced this one, the ODST Recon Specialist, which was like our first, basically our first dare figure, and an Elite General, which, oh, that was so nice, that white Elite General with a painted uh, plasma repeater, or... Uh, plasma launcher, plasma caster, no, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm going too fast and I'm also, I'm, I'm tired. I'm also, I apologize if I miss off a drop pod or I miss off an ODST, I'm, I'm going at 100 miles an hour, so do do forgive me. But yeah, we got the, the ODST Recon Specialist, uh, Covenant drop pod with Elite Ultra. Uh, yeah, Elite Ultra, oh wow, they, they, they're so nice. So yeah, this was the introduction of the Armory. So first of all, we got those four ODSTs or those five ODST pods that I showed at the beginning. They were the first ones. And then we got, uh, oh, where did they go? Then we got these two, right? Uh, there's a better picture. We got these two next. And then after that, we got the Flood Drop Pod and the Elite Ultra Drop Pod. And they were the introduction of the Armory, where you could switch out things. So you could make that into a basic elite or make that into a, an aesthetic elite. Um, you know, really dope features. Um, they were also iconic. I, ha I think I have the recon sealed still. Um, and then after a while, and again, I'm going to do a full history video on drop pods in the future. That's not what I'm doing today. Oh, is that a, is that a look at a, a oh, look, oh, I've never seen that one before. Is that a, uh, that's a, that's a, uh, tester. That's interesting. I've never actually seen that before. That must be a prototype. Um, interesting, interesting. I'll save that for later. I'll go, I'll go hunting there later. I will do a full history of all the drop pods, especially once I'm back in England and I have them. Um, the addition after that was the metallic drop pods. This was the second wave, I believe. The first wave was just ODSTs. Oh, this is an elite as well. This is a zealot and three ODSTs. This is two ODSTs. Oh yeah, so we had the shark fin ones. Yeah, this says Metallic Series 2. Uh, we had the shark fin ODSTs. I know they're actually very popular nowadays. And these two elites, I had, I actually uh, got one of those for each goodie bag at Bloxfest 2013, I believe. That's a little bit of history for you. Uh, let's have a look at Metallic Drop Pods real quick. And then we're gonna get on to, uh, don't worry, I'm going on a bit of a ramble here, but I, I think that's the fun of these videos. I'm just uh, having a good time uh, talking you guys through some history loosely. Um, yeah, there is three ODSTs in an elite. That Covert Up Shark Fin was so dope. I always wished uh, that green one was a little more green. It's almost the same as the Covert Ops. But yeah, I'll get all these in order one day and I'll talk you through, uh, you know, the, the full history of them. But basically, there were two, there were three waves. I think this was the third wave. Came with three more ODSTs and a Black Zealot and was uh, seriously dope. And then we, uh, we took a break on the drop pods for a while there until we got back to these new generation drop pods. They were for Halo Wars 2. They have, uh, you know, a little play feature where you hit the base and the door pops open. And you can still buy most of these for a very affordable price. 
The only one that's quite expensive right now is the Flood Hunter Drop Pod. Uh, but all of these, they're, they're pretty affordable. And I want to give a quick shout out to Mega Chief Constructs Creator. He sent me a few of these about six, about maybe 10 months ago now. This one was, a, yeah, this one was one of my favorites. Apparently, Dillion.com, Dillons.com is not real uh, anymore. But yeah, that was one of my favorite ones. Absolutely gorgeous. So there's been tons of drop pods. Tons of drop pods, and it's been uh, quite a while, a few years, I mean, since Halo Wars 2, that we've had any drop pods. I think there were two of these waves, perhaps three. That might be all of them there. It might have come out in two waves. All of the ODSTs from the new drop pod sets. Well, thank you very much, our Mega Constructs. You're doing the job for me. And uh, a lot of really good detail there, uh, some nice paint apps. Um, I, I particularly like this uh, Stormbreaker, I think it was called. Um, yeah, some of them uh, lacked a wash, uh, which was quite noticeable, but some of them really stood out. I love this one. This, this one actually, this was, fun fact, the only drop pad I bought while I was living in China, or the only Mega Construct set I bought while I was living in China for the first two years. I ordered it on Alibaba, um, or maybe Taobao, and uh, got that delivered to me. Right, anyway. We're already X amount of minutes into this. Let's jump into the current drop pods. Here they are with the Rookie, Dutch, Romeo, and Mickey. And these drop pods, yeah, they're back to the metallic drop pods where it's just two pieces. So all those metallic drop pods I showed you with the Shark Fin ODSTs, things like that, they are all just two piece. Uh, they don't do anything. Um, they, they're just like a double shell with a little card back and you can buy them like basically hanging on a store shelf and they have one ODST with a base plate inside with actually a little metallic halo logo, which I did enjoy collecting back in the day. Yeah, they they were decent, uh, but obviously people said that they were completely featureless and yeah, I, I would never really display them because although they did have some nice blended colors in them, they were very basic, but uh, at least, although these are two pieces, and I have seen some people complain, saying, well, Simon, you know, that I want, uh, uh, you know, open doors and hatches and moving pieces. I know, I do feel you, um, but for me, this is, I mean, obviously Mega's trying to make more cheap, affordable sets to pump into stores, right? Like, cheap drop pods, cheap platoon packs, cheap sets like the Recon Getaway and the Gun Goose Gambit and the Ghost of Requiem, uh, and then a lot of blind bags and heroes. I mean, it, it makes sense to me. Signature builds, for example, are kind of not really an affordable model for Mega because they can only really ship one to each store and it, it becomes a bit of a logistical nightmare and also a, a supply and demand nightmare because Mega wants to, uh, I'm sure they want, I'm not speaking on behalf of them, but I'm sure they want to approach as many collectors as possible and uh, one of the main problems right now that people say is distribution. So if you want to, uh, you know, please fans, get the cheap sets to as many stores as possible, which these drop pods will do, and a cheaper price means more people can afford them. And what these drop pods represent to me more than anything, it's not about drop pods, because you can buy these drop pods online, you can buy old drop pods for $20, or even $10 in some regards. Like, you can buy drop pods. What matters to me is getting the named characters into fans' hands. 10 months ago, I made a video called Mega Constructs Need to, Needs to Re-Release. Oh, look at me, look at, look at that dashing man. Ah, uh, 10 months young. Um, Mega Constructs needs to re-release the 20th character pack. Hot take. It was actually my first ever Halo hot take. And uh, it got a really good response. It was 10 months ago, and people were really on board with it. What I basically said in the video was not only that Mega needed to re-release the 20th character pack, which they did, and they did phenomenally, but they also need to re-release named characters. They need to just pump named characters out as much as possible. I was like, there should never be a wave that does not have cheap, affordable named characters. Like, they should be in every set, all the time. We should make it that, like, Red Team, Alpha 9, Blue Team, Osiris, they're available to everyone at all times, no issue. And I know a lot of people would say, well, Simon, I don't want 10 Romeos. Yes, but you can do fun things with it, like you could re-release Book, but covered in drone splatter. Like, there are, there are ways around it. Or even unhelmeted versions of these characters, especially Noble Team as well. There should never be a fan who is, uh, you know, he loves Halo 3 ODST, he loves collecting Mega, but he has to pay $250 for, like, Alpha 9? No, absolutely not. So I said that we need to re-release characters. And lo and behold, not only 
only did they do that this year with, I mean, they did get Klahar with the Ghost of Requiem, but then they also did um, the Arbiter's Quest, of course, and uh, Noble Team has been coming out in the Falcon Sweep, and the Falcon Sweep is hopefully going to be re-released next year. So it, it's great to see that they are just pumping out a lot of uh, new figures, um, a lot of new characters, or just returning characters all the time. Uh, even the ODST Hive Exterminator had Tarkov and Geklaha with the Ghost of Requiem. So they're going all hams on the characters and I love it. So this is less about uh, getting drop pods for me and more about getting Alpha 9. So we have a gorgeous look at the Rookie, Dutch, Romeo and Mickey. And next I'm going to compare them all side by side. So here's the Rookie and um, I just... Friggin love this uh, this rookie look like this speckly effect is awesome It seems to be on his undersuit as well The speckled effect has been in like quite a few things recently. I'm all about it It was actually in the forward unto dawn that I built last night on a live stream awesome Now the rookie has come out in two previous sets the ODST uh, drone uh, Well gosh, what was it called? Hmm, I want to make sure I got the right name Halo rookie ODST Mega Drone. Let's see. Oh yeah, the Wombat Recon Drone. So the rookie has been out in the Wombat Recon Wombat Recon Drone, and that was a that was a cool line they did for a while where it was like a named character and a vehicle. We had Julem Dharma with a ghost, and we had a meal with a mongoose, and then we had the rookie with the drone. It was seriously cool, and this was also new, super poseable. Like this was the first time the rookie uh, came out in a set. Uh, yeah, and he comes with the uh, little little uh, wombat thing, uh, and we also had him in the 10th anniversary of Halo Heroes. Now, this is a pretty affordable set. This, gosh, if if I had a time machine, I would uh, I would uh, buy some more 10th anniversary Halo Heroes. Goodness me, they're all worth like $60 now, and that's phenomenal, especially the purple Cortana, the CE Cortana. But yeah, the rookie has come out twice before. This, in my opinion, is the best look. Like, this it's it's insane, right? Like, look at all of that speckle. Look at the tiny UNSC logos. Look at the nice clean visor, the white stripe there. We've got clean paint application. I mean, obviously this is a render, so it would be clean, but we've got all these white pieces. Um, yeah, speckles running all the way. I mean, even look at this little bit here. Like, what is that? Is that some camo pattern? Yeah, it's a really nice figure. Very, very dark green which kind of matches the boots of the Rookie in this uh, iteration. And I guess the paint apps aren't that much different, but the addition of the UNSC and also the speckly effect, but I guess this, oh yeah, there is a different color there, the same as, as chess pieces there. This Wombat drone has almost no paint apps, but it was the first sort of wave or maybe the second wave of new articulation figures, so I didn't really expect it to have a ton of paint apps. But now we're in the golden age of Mega where like they're, they're just Chad, like they're just, they're so good. Uh, and this suppressed SMG looks bad to the bone. We got a drum, we got this slide on, we got all different paint apps. Mega is treating us well, fellas. We're eating well tonight. And yeah, I also really hope that there is a push for this to be available on Walmart so we can get it to other countries. I hope some distribution comes to England. I really do hope so. Okay, so we got the Rookie. Very nice. And uh, pretty affordable sets, like no issue there. Then we've got the Dutch. Interestingly, most people would say that the Dutch has only come out in one set. Actually, it's two. So he has been in Halo Heroes before, and that is a very nice Halo Heroes figure. The paint apps, again, we can't compare renders very well, but uh, I think that paint app might come across a little clearer. The Spartan laser in that set was dope, uh, but I love the red stripe on the Spartan laser. Like, this this looks gorgeous. My favorite Spartan laser so far is the uh, Halo Hero Series 5 Johnson, so I think this will do a similar thing for me. And yes, again, we've got Dutch, UNSC, and that UNSC logo there, which is not comparable to this one. So way more paint apps immediately. Uh, the same orange on his uh, shoulders, it seems, uh, shoulder pieces. And then again, this glittery sparkled effect, which I think will make them all sort of blend into like one release. Like there'll be one Alpha 9 moving together. Uh, and I do also want to mention, I know people are saying, where's Book? Oh, where's my Book? I, I know, Book. Book's probably coming. Book's uh, just, 
just, I think Buck's coming. I don't know. I've not been told anything, but I think Buck's coming. I think Buck and Dare might be in their own thing. Uh, Buck and Dare's a little adventure. Um, that definitely sounds like a sitcom. And this is from the UNSC, the ODST Troop Battle Pack. There we go, with Dutch and this random ODST and then two drones. Yeah, an old school pack there. I think most people don't even know that one exists, but it's a, it's a really nice one. Like it was around the time of the fire teams, once the fire teams shrunk down to four, it's got the Halo 5 look uh, to it. Like it's good, it's good, it's a good set, it's a good set. Uh, I, I always, like I, I use that uh, Dutch in my dioramas for a long time before I got the Heroes Dutch. So again, two affordable sets. Not so bad, but still, like, these came out a while ago. Like, the 10th anniversary was already three years ago, so it's been a hot minute. Like, uh, it's, it's been a hot minute. Now, it gets a little more uh, gray when you get onto Romeo and Dutch, because Romeo has only ever been in one Halo hero, and it was series... Two, I think, with Sarge. I think that's series two, perhaps series three. No, series three is Atriox. I think that's series two. Yeah, Romeo's only ever been out in a Halo hero probably over 10 years ago. Uh, maybe not over 10 years ago, that's dramatic. Uh, maybe about six years ago, seven years ago. I mean, it's been a long time. Uh, so he came out while I was still living in England, which was seven years ago. So yeah, Romeo uh, has a big upgrade here. Uh, yeah, I think this is the best Spartan laser. Obviously, this is just exponentially better than these. The gold was fun for the 10th anniversary, but sh serves no further purpose. The sniper rifle, I do kind of like the silver stripped one more. Striped one, stripped one. Um, yeah, and this one also has a little bit of uh, silver detailing up the barrel, which this one doesn't. So I guess the sniper rifle might go to this Halo hero, but the overall uh, Romeo probably goes to this one. Again, it's got Romeo on the UNSC. Um, I just, I love that darker palette, man. And he also has some really nice blue lights on his helmet. That uh, helmet, by the way, has been used so much recently. The Gungus Gambit, a Marine Sniper. Um, I think it was in the Marine Platoon pack as well. Maybe, or it was definitely in the uh, one of the customizer packs. Anyway, the, it's been used a lot recently. But the Romeo, uh, yeah, big upgrade. I, I love these. I love these darker tones, man. I, I anything closer to Spec Ops, I'm always vibing with. I just, I just vibe with it. Uh, then we got Mickey. Now, Mickey uh, has thankfully come down in price, but when he was only available in the NMPD Pelican, it was ludicrous. Like, the prices were ludicrous. Also, the paint app on that Chieftain's headdress is one of the best we've ever got. Tell me otherwise, it blends, it's awesome. Yeah, uh, the Mickey comes, you know, he's got that little elastic band on all three, but this one has the Mickey. Obviously, like, the, the Halo Heroes, it... Um, hmm. I don't actually know if that's Mickey or not. Um, for the NMPD Pelican, it could have been, so let me know. I have my Mickey's at home in England. Uh, but this rocket launcher, gorgeous. We've had a lot of painted rocket launchers. Probably rocket launchers and sniper rifles, we've had a lot of painted. Give me something like a, a, a really highly detailed painted SOCOM. Uh, yeah. Really nice, the speckly effect, UNSC, Mickey, and the stripe. Oh, that little light on the rocket actually is very nice, that spanker. Um, with these, I would like a little bit of hollow tubing, so it kind of is a bit more 3D, but that's like the tiniest, tiniest concern. And uh, yeah, oh, also this rocket launcher seems to have been taken apart by the, uh, the uh, background remover software, I don't know why. Yeah. All four of them are gorgeous, and as you can see from this list, it, it, it's so hard to come by these figures. I also do apologize, I feel like my, my brain is telling me I'm missing someone off from this list, like missing a release off. If I am, I apologize, but again, it's it's been a long, long day, so I'm just, uh, just pushing on. Um, we also, we need, uh, I, I'm starting to, like, I want to make some kind of... Ugh, some kind of online statement about this soon. We're, we're in dire need of a way to catalog these uh, sets online. Like, I need some kind of history page for these releases. So we're gonna finish off these images, then we're gonna have a look at the official mega pages, then we're gonna talk a little bit more about ODSTs. Yeah, you can see uh, the speckling effect is pretty much all over the, the uh, jumpsuit, the undersuit, which is just so awesome. It, it, it is honestly so. Like, look, that, that sparkle. The rookie's sparkling. 
He's sparkling, he's shining so bright. I don't know why he doesn't get his name on his chest, but I mean, that's that's it. I mean, it wouldn't be rookie, would it? That's that uh, suppressed SMG, bad to the bone. Then we've got our good boy, uh, Dutch here. He's ready to blow the bridge. Uh, that green Spartan laser. Yeah, it, I guess it's like a little bit simplistic. It could have done with a bit more color, but that red stripe still brings it home for me. And that green is a, that's a perfect green. Uh, the shininess, uh, that, that, that speckly effect. I'm hoping Mega goes in more with that kind of thing. I don't know what else you could do, like other kinds of sparkles, but like it really works well. Like it's, it's a great, I'm sure it's like quite a cheap way of doing it. Yeah, the sniper rifle also has a little bit of paint up there, which is, it's appreciated. It's appreciated. A little bit goes a long way in life. Um, I, I can't say that this is my favorite sniper rifle. There have been so many nice sniper rifles, but it's still good. The spanker, again, there's been a lot of good spankers, but it, it's, it's still very good. Oh, and also Mickey has the dopest uh, backpack as well. It is, uh, you know... It, we could have included the new ODST backpack with the other three ODSTs, like it would have been a nice touch. Not, not like necessary, but I mean, Mickey gets a back patch, so if you're talking about budgeting, just give them all backpacks, but I mean, it's still, you know, Mickey's iconic for that backpack, but we did get the new, I, I think I've said the word backpack a few too many times in one minute there, but we did get the new backpack with the ODST Hive Exterminator, um, and then uh, we also get the backpack on the ODST that comes with the Hornet Recon Specialist, or Recon Hornet. So, uh, yeah, we could have done with it with these three ODSTs, but that's a minor thing. Then the drop pods themselves. The fact that these are just two-piece plastic, I love the lights on these. Those white uh, triangles and lines. Oh, yeah, and little ones down there. Uh, then a mix between, yeah, white, red, blue, and red. So, like, it's, it's all the exact same, but different uh, tones, different colors for each of these. It also kind of looks like the blue is uh, speckly on this, but it might just be the render. It would be dope if it was. Overall, though, if we're talking about a step up in quality, uh, like, this is just an example of, like, how far Mega have come as a company, right? Like, Mega have come so far. And uh, the best example is this. Like, this is what you used to be able to get for the same price. Although I do like that metallic halo, it's it's not it's not it's nothing special, right? That uh, that shark fin is awesome, but nothing. There's no other paint apps on this thing. If you compare this, like blink and you miss it, to this, it's it's apples and oranges. It's night and day. It's a great great release. So these four are so legendary. Uh, the fact that we get four members of Alpha 9 in like sets that must cost under $10 is just so good. It's so good. It's a great indication of Mega listening to fans. It's a great indication of Mega really, yeah, really responding to the fans saying, hey, we don't appreciate that we have to spend like a couple of hundred dollars to get Alpha 9. Uh, Mega's like, how about retail, boys? With a drop pod as well. Because, like, these things, they don't need to open up, right? You're not going to have many drop pods open on display. I mean, maybe you would, but, like, just having them closed, they still look great for the display. They're still super iconic. And the fact that it's the return of this little, like, cardboard backing. I used to love this thing. Because, like, when you buy it from a store, you literally pull open the drop pod and the piece of uh, cardboard falls out and there's a bit of paper. It's, it's such a dope design. Such a dope design. Love the ODST on there. Uh, everything about this screams W. It's nothing but W for this community today, boys. Look at these ODSTs. They are fire. Uh, yeah, there's a, a load of little renders there where they've been blown apart by a particle disintegrator. I don't know. Uh, yeah, lots of... Uh, Lots of really nice images. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm, you, you can tell, I'm beaming with this thing. Like, it's so sick. It's so sick. Um, and yeah, once you go to Mega's website, I do want to also mention that unfortunately, megaconstructs.com is down, maybe out, maybe gone forever. It, it kind of seems like it's gone forever now, and we're left with Mega Unboxed, which I, I want to share opinions on, but like, I'm going to, I'm going to stay reserved for now. Uh, not happy with the decision though, because uh, we need a good way of cataloging our products. Like we need to know a good way of what came out year by year. And this is not it. Like this is not it. This is, uh, this is far from it. This is not a good uh, indication. We're already on page five right there. Are we saying that page six is the end of it? Oh no, it does go to page nine. Well, I mean... That's, that's maybe not saying much, though. Is page 9 empty? Is page 8 the end? Damn. 
um, that's 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 not a catalog of our products. So uh, I really need to see Mega step up and do something about this and like explain what their plan is because even for a content creator, I can't access PNGs of all the figures anymore, which sets back my editing and my thumbnail design exponentially. So. We got these four, uh, Romeo Agu, I didn't know, is that his last name? Romeo Agu, Dutch Miles, and Mickey Crespo. Uh, oh no, wait, no, that's their nickname. So Agu is their actual name? Agu, Miles, and Crespo? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then the rookie. If you click on each one, you're taken to this landing page. You can either go to the instruction manual in case you need an instruction manual for this thing, or you can uh, go to the collect this set and then you can see all of the uh, beautiful images that uh, Mega has prepared for us. Uh, they are beautiful. Oh, one review already. Looks pretty good. Hopefully Book approves. Yes, cheesy boy, cheese boy. Uh, I think Book will approve. Um, I think book will approve and let's see if there's any other oh two, three two out of two and a half stars I love the rookie minifigure, but I like the type of drop pod that the door actually popped off See that's gonna be one of the criticisms and uh, you know it, it, it's 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 all about being affordable And I want as many people as possible to get alpha 9, so I don't mind. I don't mind uh, no reviews for Mickey oh, Sorry Mickey. Sorry, bud. guess you're not uh, important enough for any reviews um, oh gosh, where am I even going here? Um, and I wanted to finish off today by reading some of the comments from the video where I revealed this set because I think that's fun as well. And no uh, reviews for Dutch either, but obviously no one's actually got them yet, so that makes sense to me. Also, one of the funnest uh, videos I've made. It was it was so fun doing this. Um, so uh, shout out to everyone who's watched it. These are sick, but it's weird that they'd make another Mickey, especially since the 20th character pack is pretty easy to get now. Such a missed opportunity for Buck. I know, everybody's saying that, but I, I really do think Mega has a plan for Buck and Dare. I mean, just think about it. Buck and Dare are just left out for no reason. Like, there's gotta be a plan. I think there's a plan. I think, bear with us. I think there's gonna be a plan. For all the leaks and what is being released next year, it's gonna be probably be the best year for new a new Mega fan. Well, that's the point, isn't it? Because it's like, like, yeah, you can debate which is the best year for Mega, but for a new Mega fan, being able to collect four members of Alpha 9 off the bat, so good. I was filled with so much excitement when I saw these. I'm so glad Mega is releasing Alpha 9 again and the old style drop pods look sick. Nice. Hey, look, it's Chunky Chief. I'm super hyped for this set. Getting more painted weapons in a cheap set is great and getting most of Alpha 9 is pretty, is super nice. My one problem is that Mickey is here when we just got him. I get why he's here, but Book would have been a better choice. Great video and keep up the awesome work. Yeah, uh, Book, uh, Book's coming in something different. I just swear, I just, I feel it. I feel it in my veins. Feel it in my veins. Also, there might have been a toy leak somewhere. I don't know. I can't talk about leaks on this channel. <laughs> uh, I think these drop pod doors should be able to open like the old ones from Mega. Again, it's pricing. That would have added another $15, and I'm happy paying a bit, a bit, a bit less of a price for these ones. Mega Constructs have been killing it with the set this year and next year. Absolutely. After getting Noble Team, getting Alpha 9 has been one of the last goals, and now it's becoming possible. Heck yeah. I just got hold of Infinite Series 4 blind bags a few days ago, and now I'm so excited for them to release. I'm glad that Mega is backing, bringing back the original style drop pods. I remember getting two shock for no DSCs from those. It's nice they are putting in some big names this time too. Exciting news, well done Simon on getting this reveal. Out on the hoof, as it were. Out on the hoof, very nice. Uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments down below what you think of this uh, release. I mean, obviously it's just exceptional. I ran a little poll recently. Um, well, I've run a couple of polls recently. First of all, uh, people are very excited about Yoroi. <laughs> um, how many people voted? Two and a half, uh, two and a half thousand, and 71% voted Yoroi. That's a big number. Oh, 117 likes, that's nice. Um, also, yeah, Billy the Grunt uh, died. <laughs> His arm fell off, but we super glued him back together. And now he's uh, living in the pastures with other grunts. Um, and the other one I did, oh yeah, that's me and Strandy sleeping in a car after Oklahoma. And apparently somebody said my hand looked like a small child. <laughs> And then we've got the drop pods. So clearly, 62% uh, of you are more the most excited about the rookie, which is 3,000 of you. Well, 3,000 votes and 62% uh, and are most excited about the rookie. So that's uh, over 1,500. That's awesome. Um, Romeo, not so much. Uh, Mickey the least. I mean, Mickey the least makes sense because, uh, you know, he did just come out in the 20th character pack, and that was very well stocked. Thank you, Mega. Uh, yeah, Romeo does surprise me because he's only ever been in a Halo hero, but I guess 
Dutch is the more popular character, I guess. Uh, he's also only been in a Halo hero, but I feel like the Romeo's rarer, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, people people on the internet are funny sometimes. I mean, <laughs> just the majority. I mean, the, the percentage margins here are so small. It's mainly that people are hyped about the rookie. So I salute the rookie fans. I'm happy you are getting what you want. So uh, this has been a very long rambling video. I have no idea how long it's been. It's It's been a long time. I know that much. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. Uh, yeah, I hope, uh, let, you know, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy these kind of rambling videos. I sure enjoy just sitting here and talking, and it's a really fun, easy way for me to upload. I want to do a video a day during December, but, uh, I'm moving in 12 days, so, uh, it's a bit crazy. But, uh, wish me luck with all of that. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Stay safe out there, folks. And Billy the Grunt, in all his grunty glory, is signing off. Ba -ba 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 -ba.